Hey, what's up guys? It's Mo Mastafa here, author, speaker, coach, and welcome to another edition of Motivated Muscle, where you learn the mindset techniques to help you burn stuff and body fat and add lean muscle. And in this video, I want to address a question that I received from Bradley in Singapore, and it says here, a lot of people have discipline in physical training, but bad discipline with food, and he's implying himself here, and how important is one, um, or with the, uh, uh, how important is one and the other? Okay, so just sort of uh, assuming I got your question right here. Um, the first thing I would say is they are both very important. Ultimately, if you want to get in great shape, if you had to put an emphasis on one thing, I would say the diet is more important in terms of, you know, say losing weight. You can you can lose weight without exercising per se, and still, um, you know, lose weight just by changing your diet. Okay. Um, but ultimately, if you want to get in shape and you want to add muscle, and you want it to be you want to be in good shape when you're losing the weight, and you want to maximize the return on the time you're spending in your you know like say you're, you're allocating six months to get in shape, then I would encourage you to do things as well as eating right, such as training. Okay, so they're both a critical ingredients. Okay, now the problem is if all you're doing is training but not eating right then you're going to have problems as well, okay? So training by itself, um, like say for example, if you work out five days a week, but you're eating really, really bad food, or any of us are doing that, like we're training, but we're eating a load of junk, then ultimately we're going to be sabotaging or limiting the potential gains we could make if we were just to eat right as well as train right, okay? So remember they're both important, but obviously I would say if I had to say which one is more important, I would say it's the, the nutrition side of things. So to address your question there, so which um, I, I imagine like, you know, for, for any individual, it's going to be, it's going to be easier, especially, I don't know, as a guy, I can only speak for, for myself as I'm a guy, as a guy, I find it easier to go and work out because I got testosterone and energy levels and I want to just, you know, vent that in, cert in a certain way. So I, I like going to the gym. So that's neat. That's like pleasure for me, right? Working out. But as is eating certain foods, like I love pizza and stuff like that. So that's pleasure as well. So it's easier to go to the gym because you're gaining pleasure. You might feel the same. Like um, as I understand, you play tennis. So for you, playing tennis is actually a pleasurable thing. However, I'm guessing also that food is a pleasurable thing. So if you have to then stop eating healthy foods, you're now making a sacrifice. This is why it's always very often hard with the food side of things, a lot of guys struggle with this, it's because they're having to make sacrifices in that era. You're not sacrificing anything by playing your favorite sport, right? And it's the same for me. When I go into the gym, I'm not sacrificing anything per se because I love training. Um, whereas if I don't eat my favorite foods or there's uh, like some chocolate on the table and I can't touch it and I'm having to bypass that, then I'm making sacrifices. So it's oftentimes, it, you mean, rationally and logically, it's, it's going to be easier to... Um, to embrace something you enjoy then is to sacrifice something you enjoy okay so what I would encourage you to really do is start shifting your focus off the food being the thing you enjoy even though sure enjoy your food but focus on the gains you're going to make if you make that short-term sacrifice so don't spend too much time thinking about oh, I'm missing out my favorite foods and all this stuff and really focusing on that focus on what you're going to gain instead in uh, in alternative pleasures, yeah, by saying, right, do you know what, if I give up maybe drinking on the weekends or eating certain types of foods, then my golf, uh, my tennis game is going to increase. I'm going to be fitter. I'm going to look better. I'm going to have more energy. I'm going to perform better in my job. I'm going to be more confident. You can have all these other benefits that are way outweigh the benefits of eating a pizza or having a few drinks on the weekend, right? Um, also the financial benefits, I guess, as well of spending money on junk and whatever, uh, instead of, and then instead keeping the money and reinvesting it into something else or whatever as well. Okay. So this is completely natural, but ultimately you have to decide which is more important. And Arnold Schwarzenegger has a great saying. He's, he's, when he was training for his, um, Mr. Olympia competition, he was given the choice between like, eating junk food or winning the competition. And he had a question he'd ask himself, he said, which one am I more hungry for? Am I more hungry for the burger or am I more hungry for the Mr. Olympia title? And that's why it's very important that we have big goals. So 
hope that helps you. I hope that answers some of your questions. And if you've got any more comments and questions, leave them below. And if you want more help with your mindset, then make sure you go over to my website now and sign up to my newsletter to get access to my seven mindset keys, which will help you get the mindset to set your goals, get motivated and take massive action. So hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care.